Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're going to be doing a product review on this engine oil stop leak by Lucas. Let's go ahead and get started. Check here on the back. What you want to do is when you do your oil filter change, you want to go ahead and put in one quart of this engine oil um, stop leak by Lucas to each four quarts of motor oil. So approximately 20% of your system capacity is what you want to use it on. So if you have a vehicle that takes more than four quarts, you may want to put in um, a second application. But basically what this does is leaking engines are usually older engines. Lucas engine oil stop leak is not only a leak stopper, but also an excellent additive for worn engines. The user can expect less engine noise, higher oil pressure, and less oil consumption as the Lucas oil additives fill the space between worn parts. Lucas engine oil stop leak is also, an effective, uh, is also effective at stopping leaks in automatic transmissions, hydrostat transmissions, and hydraulic systems. In those situations, you would use 10% is usually adequate, but more can be added as needed. Excellent for use in marine applications as well. Now for this video here, we're going to be putting it into a vehicle that I'm working on that has a pretty bad oil leak. So we're going to go ahead and put it to the ultimate test. I'm going to show you what we're talking about. We've already changed the oil, so we're getting ready to put this in. And then we're going to go ahead and run it through for many miles so we can get an accurate um, review on it. And then we'll be back to see if it actually did the job or not. This is where the vehicle is normally parked. You can see all the oil spots here. And this is not over a long duration of time. This is literally over a few days that you will kind of see this. And we're going to go underneath the vehicle and take a look at the oil pan. You can see it's all wet in there as well. You want to start by draining out your old oil, removing the filter, changing all that out, which I've already done. So now we're ready to start adding the new oil and the Lucas additive. I'm currently still draining out the old oil, so just ignore those drips. What I'm talking about here is all that wet oil here on the bottom you can clearly see we have a leak going on under here and there you can get a better shot of it you can see it's all wet up in there what i would recommend doing after you drain your old oil out swap out the filter get everything ready the drain plug clean and put back on and you're ready to start refilling it what I would recommend is put about three quarts of the oil in first and then add the Lucas because then from there you have your four quarts then you can top it off accordingly based on the capacity of your engine. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and add the oil to it and then we're going to come back and then we're going to add the, the stop leak by Lucas to it and then we'll top it off accordingly and then we'll be able to start running the vehicle, drive it for several hundred miles to get an accurate test off of it and what I'm going to do is we're going to put something under the vehicle so we can see if any oil spots show up afterwards before we conclude the review. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open it up and remove this little safety piece. Peel that back. We can put that back on. And then on the top itself here, once we remove it, we're going to have to cut that because it's sealed here. So we'll just go ahead and snip it off. Now that it's off, let's go ahead and put it in the vehicle. We're going to go ahead now and pour the entire contents in. This stuff is pretty thick. So we're gonna go ahead and just dump it all in. Sometimes you may wanna take off the little nozzle end so that way it flows a little bit thicker because this stuff can go through very, very, very slow. So there we go, that, that's better. So it all depends on your application. Um, you may want to take it off to speed up the process. Finishing up this application now. And there we go. The entire content has been put in. I'm going to go ahead and check the levels, top it off accordingly. Then we'll go ahead and drive it in normal use, put a lot of miles on it, and then be back to see if it did what it claims it'll do. Gonna go ahead and add one more quart 
because we were showing a little bit low on the dipstick there. So put this last quart in here and then we're ready to get moving. All right, so I've done a little bit of driving. We're gonna go ahead and check the levels, see how they look. We're also gonna take a look at the pavement, see if there's any drops that have come out. Still have a lot more driving to do, but just wanted to check in at this point since it's been a couple days and just see if we're seeing any kind of progress at this point. So let's go ahead and pull out the dipstick and take a look at the levels. Still showing completely full, so that's good. Not a lot leaked out. Right here is where the vehicle was parked. You can see there's still a couple spots of oil right here. But we've only put about 66 and a half miles on it since we added the stop leak. We're gonna put a few hundred now to put it to the real test and then come back, give it time to do its thing. But as of right now, still seeing some drops. Doesn't seem as bad as before. That's probably over a, uh, probably a 10 to 15 hour period that that's there on the ground. There you have it. I've driven over 550 miles since putting in the Lucas stop leak additive. So let's head underneath the vehicle. I just drove this vehicle um, between three states. Just really put it to the use. Haven't checked underneath. I did put a plate under there so we can see if there's any oil leakage coming out. As shown at the beginning, there was a lot of spots on my driveway. This vehicle normally does leak a lot. After you drive it and you let it sit, there's usually a lot of spots. So we've had it sitting now for 24 hours since we finished driving the 550 plus miles on it. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath, see if there's any drops. And then we're also gonna check the oil levels and see how it looks. It's coming underneath the car. I have this white piece of plexiglass I put under here. And I put this under it last night when we got back after going over 500 miles. And this is it. One little drop there and one here. So two drops after going over 500 miles, letting it sit 24 hours. I did check this this morning. Those two drops were there. So all day, no additional drops fell. So that looks really good because normally after driving this vehicle, that long of a duration, putting that many miles on it, letting it sit, you would have a lot more than just two little individual drops. So it looks like this is definitely doing the job. I'm thinking maybe a second application should probably take care of it 100%. We went ahead and drove another about 119 miles, I believe, on top of the 550 from the uh, highway driving. This was all local stop and go driving. So let's head underneath. I have that panel under there again. Let's see how the, the oil drops look and then we'll wrap up this video. Let's pull this out. All right, well this looks worse than the last time when we did the 550 of the highway driving. We just had a couple little drops on there and that was it. Now doing the stop and go over 100 miles, just stop and, stop and go local traffic over a one week period. You can see there's a little more drops. This is more consistent with how it was before. Now let's check the levels though, because it's been a few weeks, 669 miles. Normally at this point, I'd be probably getting ready to add a quart. We're close to it. So let's see how the levels look and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video.
So there's the levels, and you can see it is not extremely low, but it is on the low side. It's pretty much on the second dot. You have the maximum here and then the low one, so it's there. So the, we definitely did lose some oil, not as bad as normal. Normally there'd be, there'd be more, um, but it didn't do as good as I thought it would. All right, well, that pretty much wraps up this review on this product here by Lucas, this engine oil stop leak. Um, overall, I thought it did very good. I was hoping it would do a little bit better. So to give it the overall rating, I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it an 8. And the reason being is, as we saw, it did help a lot with the oil leak. The oil leak did go down a lot. As you saw, we put over 600 miles on that vehicle, and we drove it for a few weeks. And there were still some leaks, but nowhere near as bad as normal. Normally, at that point, I'd probably be adding a quart or maybe even more. This one here, it went down to, on this particular vehicle, there, there are three levels. You have the full, the medium, and the low as far as the, the dots on the dipstick. We were on the second one, so it wasn't all the way low, but it did go down. I was hoping that it would have solved it better based on what it said. The only thing I would recommend, if you have a vehicle like, like I have with a bad leak, you may want to put a, another application when you do your next oil change. So that's probably what I'll do is on my next oil change, probably go ahead and put this oil um, um, engine stop leak by Lucas in addition to their oil stabilizer, which I did a product review on that. If you want to see it, you can check it out via the link above. But I think the two of those combined should be able to probably put an end to it once and for all. So as just mentioned, scale of one to 10, I give it an eight. If you have a, a, a kind of an average or even a mild leak, it'll probably take care of it first time around. But I hope this video was informative for you. I hope it helped you out. I hope it gave you any information if you're planning on using this product. As mentioned already, I would recommend it, but just be prepared if it's a major leak that you may need more than one application. Please send me any questions, comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.